Alright, so for my first deck in One Night in Karazhan, I'm playing a Paladin deck based on Morose. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Morose is a shitty card, and this is a shitty deck. And you're right. But, I'm gonna play it anyway. Uther versus Brawl! For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. Um, do I hard mulligan for Morose is the question. I put Divine Strength in the deck so that it would get Morose. It's a cheap way to get Morose out of range of like Ravaging Ghoul, Swipe, Consecration, but he's playing Shaman, so Shaman doesn't have those cards. He just Lightning Storms it when it's a 2-3. What a scumbag. I also have Ida's Dark Vein in the deck with like not nearly enough activators, but he's in the deck anyway. It's getting hot in here. Mukla's champion is my finisher. When I have a million tokens on the board. It's getting hot in here. Okay, I'm gonna need this guy to stop playing cards so that I can win. Oh, sick! The Ida's Dark Bane combo. Look. That's a dead flame juggler. Look how dead this flame juggler is. Okay, that was the worst of five targets. But my Dark Bane still has six health. And... He can kill it if he runs his whole board into it. Or just Rockbiter plus Squire. And now I have a Consecration that kills only a Totem. So I'm a little... I'm somewhat behind. I'm a little bit behind. But it's okay. I'll draw Morose soon, and then I'll win the game. Um... For justice. Probably kill the Tunnel Trog. Because if it gets buffed even once, then it's the same power as a Flame Juggler. And there's always the potential it gets buffed way more than that. So I may as well just take the one damage now while I can, instead of taking the five damage later. The light protects me. Although if he doesn't have an overload card, which apparently he doesn't, then that was not the best attack. Okay, so now I kill one of these. Do I draw? Probably don't draw, right? Save this for the consecration turn. Let's play my meat shield. Mookless Champion is really bad here, but if it can kill the Flame Juggler and then pop the Argent Squire's Divine Shield. Hopefully I can have a really sick Consecration next turn. Okay, well he drew Doomhammer, so I lose. No, I have Rag Light Lord in the deck. I just need to stabilize and then draw Rag. Easy game. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna stabilize when he hits me in the face for 7 next turn. Alright, kill this guy. Put a couple minions on the board. Maybe he'll attack my minions instead of my face. I just need him to not kill me and then draw Rag Ragnaros Lightlord on turn 8. Or Tyrion. Tyrion might save me. No, don't point a spell at my face. What a 
the douchebag. Okay. There are two reasons I lost that game. The first one is obviously I didn't draw Morose, which is my win condition. If I had gotten to play him on turn 3, it would have been easy game, easy life. Could have even coined him out on turn 2. But also that Ida's Dark Bane, hitting him in the face, was real bad. If that had killed a Flame Juggler, I think that would have been a completely different game. Bring victory. I will fight with honor. Alright, hard mulligan for Morose. Turn this bad legendary into the good one. Also, selfless hero on one, and then coin Morose on two, and trade off the selfless hero is actually really sick. Oh dude, this, this guy's playing priest, I just realized. Okay. Easy game. Wait, no, he's got AoE. Shit. Okay, still gonna win. It's gonna be a long game, so strap in. I'm gonna take his ass to fatigue, and then kill him with tokens. He's gonna think he's hot shit when he excavated the evils my burrows. And then I'll just kill him with recruits. After Moroz has done his noble duty of, ba of baiting out AoE. Nothing scares me. The battle is there. Reporting for duty. Look at the symmetry on this board. Wait, I guess that's not symmetry. But it's grouped properly. Who the fuck plays Shadow Word Horror? God damn it. Who does that? For duty. That's fine. I got the Shadow Word Horror out of the way before Moroz. That was... That was actually my plan, to get the Shadow Word Horror out of the way before the Moroz. You, you probably didn't notice, because it, it was such a... such a high-level plan. I'm using my hero power every turn. Except next turn when I play Jessicar. But after that, I'm using my hero power every turn. Okay, I can kill that on board. Shit! He played Je he played Doomsayer. Question is, do I kill Doomsayer or just let it go off? I have ways to remove it. Um... Mukla's champ is two off, so not good enough. I could just play down the Justicar and let it blow up. I also have a couple Uldaman plays that can kill it. Or I can just True Silver into it with my dudes on board. If I play True Silver... Oin... Direwolf, Alpha, and Abusive Sergeant, I can clear both and still have some board. I don't think I need to do that, though. I'm just gonna kill this guy and clear a power up. It's not like I have to kill the Shifting Shade this turn, he doesn't have a good trade on board or anything. Shit. He steals Morose, what am I gonna do? <laughs> That's Morose, he's hovering over it. I can tell, he stole it. Wow. I mean, that's a pretty weak consecration, though, right? For justice. Welcome to the grand tournament. Let's get the token train going. He's so dead. The game's over. Unless he plays Nazoth, which he probably is playing Nazoth. Why don't I have a quality in this deck? 
if I plan on always having 1-1s one on the board. Because if I buff my Moroz, it'll get weakened. Right. I should probably still put a quality in the stack. What do I cut for it, though? Wow. Really? He is not confident that he's going to be able to to have minions on the board. Um, I can play Mukla's Champ here, but then he can just weapon into it. And Mukla's Champ is fairly hard to kill for a priest since I have so much, or since I have four attack. Maybe I just go Abusive Sergeant here. Like, I could even play Steward of Darkshire here. I get three Divine Shields out of it if I play the Abusive Sergeant. Maybe I go Steward Divine Strength on the Steward? Then he would still need something else to kill it. Unless I have a bunch of Divine Shield minions on the board. Back to your homes. Alright, sick. So he needs more than just the True Silver to kill the Steward. It's still out of range of most priest removal at 4 health, or 4 attack. Is it? Okay, well. He's playing the one card that removes it. Son of a bitch. But that's okay, because... The tokens, man, they're coming out. I'll just play a Direwolf Alpha here. I really want to bait out his True Silver Charge so I can play Mukla. I don't know the best place to play this. Put him right there. I do want to get the 2 damage out of him this turn, but I want him to be as close to my minions that can trade off as possible. If I had positioned my board better last turn, maybe I could have had a better spot for him. Why are you playing Resurrect Priest before Onyx Bishop is out? Oh, I baited it. I actually don't know if I can use my hero power when my board's full. But I can always just trade off a 1-1 if I can't. Shit. Okay, so I have to trade off a 1-1. So I guess I'll just send three 1-1s into this. Since I'm getting two more anyway. Wait, did that make sense? I probably fucked that up. Now that I think of it. If I'd traded in two first. Wow. I don't know, I think that was the best actually. Shit! There's so much AoE in his deck. Shit! Why'd he get two true two true silvers? Saving this for my Moroz. Maybe I'll just cut Ida Stark Bane for equality. He got. Oh my god. These have been the sickest shifting shades. I'm gonna lose to a priest, man! I'm gonna lose to a priest! I guess I use Uldaman plus Blessing of Kings to kill that. Or maybe I just Uldaman and don't even kill it this turn. Uldaman hero power. Pop the Divine Shield. That's like maximum greed mode play. Dude, if he's playing Nazoth, he's gonna get my Tyrion back. Son of a bitch. But I don't have a way to deal with the Tyrion other than just killing it, so... 
of shit, basically. None may steal our secrets. Reporting for duty. I am gonna go ahead and kill it. I probably need to start being the aggressor instead of just being passive. And he has two good Ashbringer targets this turn, so he has to leave one of them up. I bring life. What the fuck? Is this a Velen deck? Oh my god. The Velen deck, and he got my Tyrion for the Ashbringer? Shit. Well, Purify's not out yet, so I can just peacekeep that. But maybe I just keep your Voldem on it. Because I want to clear it. I wonder. None may steal our not in my house. Make some dudes. The battle, the battle, the battle. I have 11, 15, This is actually enough to kill him, if all he has is hero power. Let's go for it. I mean, I'm probably dead. Oh! The dream! Ah, oh, fucking flash heal. God damn it. I don't believe I can draw into lethal. Wait, is that lethal? 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 22. But I can trade off a 1 1 and play Direwolf Alpha. I'm pretty sure this is lethal. Ah! Got him! Stole two true silvers and a fucking Tyrion. Get out of here. I still didn't draw Moreau's though. And he played Shadow Word Horror on me. Get the fuck out of here, priest. Oh yeah, I wanted to put a quality in the deck. Like, I want to play Ida's Darkbane, but I have, like, a few activators for it. I think a 3-drop is so good, though. But a quality is, like, so, so good. Whatever. I'll cut Ida's, I guess. I want another equality. Maybe the deck isn't aggressive enough for Selfless Hero. It's so good on Curve into Moros, though. And, like, that's the dream, right? Who cares how good the deck is if I can get Divine Shield on Moros on turn 2 or 3? So we'll leave the Selfless Heroes on. Maybe Gormok is too much. Maybe Mookless Champion is not good. Okay, I'll cut Mookless Champion. Fuck. How did I forget to put a quality in a deck that's focused on having a million 1-1s? One Probably because I'm an idiot. Also, I don't know why the deck has one Eldor Peacekeeper and one or Argent Horse Rider. Oh, I got Morose in the opener. Shit, he's a warrior. He can kill it. Okay, I need to hard mulligan. No, I'll just... This is pretty good on turn 4. He needs, like, Brawl to clear that. But if I can get Selfless Hero, that'd be dope. Shit. You're both of my Dire Wolves? Okay, so with Coin, I can Morose Coin Divine Strength on 3. Oh, he's so fucked. He's so fucked. He doesn't even know how boned he is next turn. I could have gone Coin Steward of Darkshire hoping it lived, 
and then played Moroz, but he's like a warrior, and he has this card called Fiery War Axe that makes that probably a bad play. Uh, do I have to do something different so that I don't let his Acolyte wreck me? So, Coin Blessing of Kings, or I guess Coin Double Direwolf. Let's go for Blessing of Kings. I don't want to let this Acolyte get a lot of draws. Especially if he's playing the Morgan deck. But this is still fine. Turn 4 Morose, he can't deal with it. Also the Blessing of Kings play. Uh, leaves my guy at 4 health, which is out of range of Fiery War Axe. Could be, like, Blood to Icker, Fiery War Axe. That would suck. Execute, Shield Slam. Okay, that's fine. So this is, like, a Control Warrior. Actually, I think the Worgen deck plays Shield Slam. I actually don't know. Which emote is most appropriate here? Greetings. Alright. This is it. This is the dream. You can't kill it, warrior, until you draw Brawl, but... Oh! Is this the Bolster Warrior? Wait, no, I don't think the Bolster Warrior has Shield Slam. I actually don't know. But if it is that deck, that deck does not have Brawl in it. So he can't kill the Moroz. Fucking dream. Okay, anyway, what do I do here? Is Steward of Darkshire here good enough? It gives me two Divine Shields. Probably not good enough. Can I really ever guarantee getting more than two Divine Shields out of it? Yeah, I guess I can. Alright. I got a sick play here. Hero Power Pass. I think this is a good play. Ah, oh, the Morose is getting out of control. The value so far. It's already paid itself off. My my hero power does the same thing and costs two mana. I paid three and I've gotten two hero powers out of it. What now? He doesn't know what to do right now, because he's so fucked. Can't even deal with the Moroz. Yeah. Mana discounts don't kill my stealth minion, nerd. Nice try, though. Alright, can I get through to the Thorison? Blessing of Kings trades with the 5-5. Five five. Somehow need 4 damage out of 2 mana. I Consecrate, they're both at 3. I have 2 mana. Direwolf Elf is not enough. By the way, Unstealthing Morose is not an option. So if you're doing math involving that, stop. Um, hmm. I think this might be a Blessing of Kings hero power turn. Ones keep coming. I bet he's seriously considering playing Brawl right now. He can't handle the Moroz otherwise. I don't actually know what deck he's playing. I don't even know if it has Brawl in it.
but he's wishing it had a brawl in it. All he can do is go face. Poor guy. Oh, that was a face now brawl. Oh. Nice try, nerd, but Moroz is still alive. Keeper of Ultimon. Not so good here. I could abuse of Sergeant Moroz and kill Thorison, but like I said, we're not killing Moroz. That's not. That's not okay. So. Mm. I'm probably making a shitty play instead. None may steal us. I wonder if I just buff my Moroz again, just for good measure. Make sure he doesn't die. It'd be really hard to kill him, though. I protect my my Moros. He could have like Geddon or some shit. I don't know why this deck would have Geddon in it. I don't know what this deck is. So hopefully it's not the Worgen deck because he's gotten he's gonna get three Emperor Thors and Prox. Behold the armies of Stormwind. Okay, I guess it's just Tempo Warrior. I didn't know this deck played Thorson. Turn 8 Varian Ren. Oh no, I should have saved my Divine Strength for when I play a quality. Then I could have saved my Moros. Shit. Alright, so... Consecration's pretty good here. Gives me a decent clear. I think. Not in my house. There we go. Consecration. I mean, it's not a decent clear because, like, Varian Ren lives and shit. Varian Ren's like a scary card. But it's okay. The battle. <gasps> no big deal. He only got three procs out of his Emperor. The Morose is still going. We got this. Shit. He has so much damage in his hand. <laughs> wow. So BM. 13 damage over lethal. Shit. Alright. Well, this Moro's deck is clearly not working. But I do have another Moreau's deck. 